what's up guys i just realized i have paint even on my lips okay what's up everybody welcome back to my channel i'm natalie yusefi and i turned my kitchen into a business uh work area <laughs> but uh before we start make sure you uh subscribe to my channel right somewhere down here here um uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel we are on the way to a thousand followers subscribers sorry i'm not gonna talk a lot today i just want to show you guys what i'm going to do and um you know if, if you're new to this channel it's a lot of diy things going on and trips in my life that i'd be showing you guys but for today's video we're going to uh, customize a pair of air force ones and um i'm sure you've probably seen it before we're gonna paint it we're gonna dress it up and make it look fly <laughs> real quick before we start i want to show you guys what type of um paint we're using and um the paint we're going to use today is called this angels um i bought mine from amazon are you surprised i'm not <laughs> but um everything usually is from amazon if i'm making a diy usually not always but usually but today we're gonna use red and then uh for the finisher i have this acrylic finisher and honestly um earlier today i finished a pair of shoes that i did and the acrylic finisher is amazing but i'm gonna show you guys what i did just so you guys can see it's uh different <laughs> then the other shoe so if you wonder why there's like crystals and stuff it was crystals on it before but i just wanted to you know test it out a little bit and this is how it looks step one um we're, i have okay make sure you cover your table because you don't want paint everywhere um i'm gonna put a little bit of red paint that was not a little bit <laughs> but oh and then these are these are not from amazon but these are from amazon the darker ones are not but what we're going to do we're just going to paint this part red and you're going to need a multiple coats the pink one that i just showed you guys um i did four coats of uh pink on it and then um i also did the acrylic a few times i did the acrylic twice <laughs> Once the, co the first coat is done, um, I'm going to go in on this part of the shoe uh, around the Nike right here, and I'm going to make it red as well. We have finished the first coat on both shoes. Now what I'm going to do is uh, apply another round of the red on top of every you know red spot that i already did the second coat is done as you guys can tell it looks a little bit better um i think you could stop at two coats but me personally i'm gonna do one more because i'm a perfectionist <laughs> so i'll see you guys when the third coat is on i forgot my tv was on that's the only way to distract me when i'm working Okay, so we have completed three coats. You see, it looks, it looks really good. Okay, so now that the shoe looks like this, I want to color this part. I don't really know what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna sit here and think for the next five minutes, but um, I'll be right back. All right, I decided to make um, black Nike signs, and it's super detailed. Detailed. <laughs> I already did it on this side, as you can tell. You don't want it to be black anywhere around it. Oh, one tip also: if you do miss something or it comes, you know, on the white where you don't want it to be uh, colored, painted. 
<laughs> you do use this one. It's called a leather preparer and deglazer. All right. Looks like this. It's the same brand. It's gonna be if you go to Amazon, I'm sure it will pop up. This is really good. It's like acetone though. So if you do have acetone, you can just use acetone. I know my camera keeps uh, moving, but okay. So I ended up finishing up the black paint. I only did one layer, and then also on this part, um, I did a black as well, just to match it. And then now. I mean, after that, I um, covered the whole shoe besides the black part and the red part in tape. I use this tape. They have like painter's tape. You can use this one as well, but I like the black one more. We're going to start by doing this. Okay. <laughs> that was our first tape. Um, and I'm only doing this because I don't want any type of color to come on the white while we're splattering and splashing. You might not need as much tape as I'm using, but um, to each his own. Oops, I missed a spot. Um, yeah, make sure you don't miss any spots. It looks like this. And for the bottom of the shoe, in case I have like color coming on it I'm gonna put yeah I want it to stay white so we're just gonna tape this just put one tape across here um, and then pretty much done all right looks like this <laughs> yeah we're pretty much done with this right now so what we're gonna do now is go straight to my balcony over there don't mind the mess around it. It's always messy in here. It's really not always messy in here. It's just messy here right now because I'm doing laundry. And the table is looking crazy. I'm going to start by putting the black paint on. And um, since I only want white on this one, we're just going to cover it like this. And then we're just going to spray it. Take the black paint, um, open it up. It's about to get so messy. Dip one of them in here, and then uh, okay. you just do this. <gasps> I just sprayed myself. All that. You can always do this as well, okay? All right, a little bit more. So look at this. Mm. The closer you get, the cuter it gets. It's crazy messy. Warning y'all. When you're done with the black one, wash your um, brushes because you're gonna dip it in the white now. Um, I don't want any more black on mine. So we're gonna take these off and now we're gonna do the same thing with white. done with my shoes the nike sign is white and black and then the front here is black white and red it's gonna be super nice so we just have to wait until it dries i'm gonna clean everything up and then once it's clean and dry and everything i'm gonna show you guys how i put the top coat on and then we're done what's up guys i just realized i have paint even on my lips okay and on my hands 
So what I would tell you is uh, put gloves on. If you have a face mask, put it on. And um, yeah, even my like camera stand <laughs> has dots on it, but it's okay. Um, shit happens, but now we just have to wait until it dries. I'm gonna go shower, get ready for bed, and then. You know what? I didn't end up showering, but still here. I'm painting other shoes. Um, but I think this is dry enough for me to slowly take this off and uh, show you guys. Last but not least, we have to put the finisher on top of it. And as soon as that dries, honestly, we are done. We're just putting a bunch of acrylic on it. Oh, my back hurts so much. But, alright, who's ready for the final results? <laughs> Oops. Let's see details. It is so freaking clean. Probably have paint and everything in my hair. Yeah. This is the results. The back look like this. Air, oars, ones, honey. Here you go. Without my face in it. It looks nice, don't it? Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. No, I'm kidding, but I'm not kidding. <laughs> Anyways, I'm so tired. My brain is not functioning. Make sure you tune in to the next video. I have my part three coming as well, part three Aspen. And um, that's the time I snowboard for the first time. So you can't miss that either. But for today's video, this was it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Seriously, I freaking appreciate it. Bye.